Hey everybody, it is Tuesday evening, and I'm just leaving the other office to go home. I'm going to try to make it through this parking lot without hitting somebody. So i got to cut through this shopping center to get back out to the road, otherwise i got to go way down and take a U-turn, and there's tollway involved, and it's just not worth it. It's a lot easier just to do it this way. A couple of things. One, the Sunday vlog is going to go up tonight. It's very short. And when I say very short, it's like th not even three minutes long. Uh, and it's mostly all shot underwater. There is some above water shots. It was all done with this little Kodak. I told you guys about the little Kodak that I bought for like five bucks that was waterproof and it is I have a cannonball with it in my hand so I know for sure that it's that it works pretty good I just I cut most of the sound out of it because it sounds really bad but the funny thing is it'll record conversation uh, even like a couple of feet underwater so the mic on it's pretty sensitive but um, it just sounds like crap with all the bubble sounds and all that so I've cut that out. I still haven't decided if I'm going to add in like an ocean sound or whatever. And then I'm going to voice over it. I was going to do... I was just going to do like subtitles on it. But I'm tr I was having a hard time. I'm just using Movie Maker because it's quick. And I was able to cut everything together pretty fast last night. But I need to find figure out if I do those text boxes is if I can do black background white letters so that you can actually see it because it is it is a water it's, you know it's all filmed in water so it's not like any colors really going to show up all that great for text oh dead gum it God, I'm gonna drive me nuts come on come on come on dummy there you go Alright, so that's what I'm going to try to figure out tonight. If I can do it that way, then I'll just subtitle it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to grab the snowball and take my laptop somewhere where it's quiet and voiceover. I mean, it's, it's literally like 2 minutes and 40 seconds. It's really quick. I thought I had recorded a lot more. Most of it's completely unusable. So... I'm going to get that uploaded tonight with this one. And Saturdays, for some reason, it was on the camera, and I kept copying it over, and it wasn't showing up. I don't know what happened. I copied it to another folder, and it showed up with no problem. So I would uploaded Mondays first because I couldn't ever get... I was working on Sundays, and I could not find Saturdays. Even though it was on the camera, it wouldn't copy. And so I kind of gave up, but then I found Saturdays and got it uploaded. I don't even know what's all on Saturdays. I didn't really, I didn't watch it, so go figure. I was just trying to get it uploaded once I found it. So I should be caught up tonight with this one and Sundays. So I'll be all caught up. It'll be a little out of order, but at least I'll be caught up. But that little Kodak camera does really good in the water. I'm sure the GoPro would have looked a lot better, but I just wanted to play with that little Kodak for now. And the JVC has an underwater housing for it. And uh, I'm tempted to get it and try it out. I just hate, you know, sticking a $5 camera underwater doesn't feel nearly as risky as this JVC or the GoPro. Especially the GoPro, because I made the mistake of not buying the extended warranty on it. So, I've got to try to figure out if I can buy one after the fact, if they'll let me do it or not. Probably not at this point, but I can always ask. Because I'd like to use it more, but I'm afraid to break it and I'm stuck. I won't have anything then. I don't have a camera to use at all. Trying to go to the store the 
this morning and all that. And so I just said forget it. Plus I told my wife to take my TV dinner uh, with her. She's going to help somebody out with their kids for the next couple of weeks. So I told her to just take it for lunch and I just go get something. And I never realized, but their meal with fries and like a, with like a tea is nearly 1,500 calories. And that's not even the sweet tea, that's the unsweet tea. And so I like, if I hadn't had such a, a small breakfast, because all I had this morning was just the, the mango juice from, the Naked Juice people, sorry, I was, forgot what the name of the company was for a second. And then I had some of those probiotic yogurt covered pretzels. I just had a handful of those. And that usually will fill me up for breakfast. And so that's only about, it's probably only about 270 calories or so. And so I could afford to go a little crazier on the Chick-fil-A because the Chick-fil-A just the fries and the sandwich are a thousand fifty and then and it may be less it may be closer to about twelve or thirteen hundred because I think the fifteen hundreds with the sweet tea but needless to say you know it kind of sticks me for dinner because now I'm like what can I do I have to go over or I'm gonna have to have just a very small meal to eat but I've got to start focusing more on getting this calories counted and then get into this exercise routine but like today I'd love to go exercise or go take a walk but my knee is so messed up my left knee I can barely walk around today so it's not one thing it's another so anyway that's pretty much all I got for today. I'm kind of keeping it short. I've um, got a headache and I'm tired and I don't really feel like talking today. But I didn't, I haven't gotten a hold of the college yet. I'm supposed to do that tomorrow during my lunch. I emailed, I'll take it back, I emailed the person, the counselor for the distance distance learning and to find out if all of my classes that I need are available online and if so and we can confirm that then I'm going to go ahead and take the, the steps necessary to, to get registered. I think I have to take some kind of tests. And, you know, I understand it so that you're prepared for college but when you get up to my age there's no point. I'm not, you know, a 22-year-old kid. Either I'm going to be prepared for college or I'm not. I'm a grown adult and I know whether I'm prepared or not. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what they want you to do. So I'm going to find out about those tests and then find out what all i got to do to finish getting registered. Because I can, I think I can register, but I can't register for classes. So, basically what will happen is I'll get everything done, and I think the first day you can actually register for classes is June 11th. But, in that same, in that same token, there may be people that are uh, former students or people that are, you know, were students this past semester, and they can fill these classes up before we even get a chance to. And that's just how it works. So... I'm hoping to at least get my basic classes done. I don't know how many I'm going to take that first semester. It's kind of up to them what they think I can handle the first time around. Normally they say not more than three classes. And so that's probably what I would stick with. But I'd like to get my basics out of the way. You know, English and math and all that. And just blow through that. And then all my computer classes, I can take multiple. So I could probably take four or five classes. And it sounds like a lot, but grand scheme of things, the faster I get it done and I get that degree, the better I look 
to the company on that. And then my next step is I looked at the, the Western Governors University today to find out because you have to have a, an associate to uh, apply there because they only have, they have a bachelor's and a master's program. And so I can go for like a computer science degree with them. And what they do is that they count, you pay per block. So it's right, it's a little over five grand a year. So it's like 52 to 5400 a year for the classes. But that covers the class and all your testing. And that's as many classes as you can take in that time period. So it's like 2800 a year. So it's like 2800 a year. I mean, uh, every six months. Sorry, my freaking phone went off. I thought I had it on mute. So, in six months, if you can, you know, knock out a ton of classes, because all their stuff's online, and I don't, I think there's maybe pre-recorded, and there may be some that you get the classes as they get recorded. I'm not 100% sure how it works just yet. And I'll have a ways to go before I get there, and it may be even more expensive by that time. But I'd love to blow through and get my bachelor's and have that. And then that makes me even more valuable to the company I work for. And, well, the company that I, I'm contracted to who I want to work for. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to get a hold of that lady tomorrow about those classes. If she hasn't emailed me back and just find out, she may be off work since they've already classes are already over with. I'll just have to find out. If she's not there, I'll have to find out who to talk to because I want to get this all resolved by next week because as soon as the 11th comes, on that day I plan on getting registered for classes so I don't miss out. So my only setback right now is that I don't, I don't know exactly how much it's going to cost this first time around? I think it's it's probably not much because it's only it's only a little over five grand for everything, and so I think it's probably only just maybe three or four hundred dollars this first time. So that won't be too hard to do. It's really windy today. So anyway, that's pretty much all I got. Just heading home, going to eat, lay down, get up tomorrow and do it all over again. So you guys have a good Tuesday evening and be safe tomorrow and I will see you tomorrow.